Hey, Red Raiders. Welcome to the Tech and Tortillas Instant Reaction Podcast. I'm your host, Nick Dementia. With me is Dylan. Dylan, how are you? Feeling good after a big one today, Nick. Feeling real good. Boy, I'm going to tell you what, man. You know, that game. So, obviously, we're here talking about the Texas Tech basketball team and their 85-84 win over Oklahoma today. Man, 5-1 and one in conference. Um, who would have thunk it? What a turnaround. I mean, from what we did and looked like last year to now, feeling good. It, Dylan, I'm going to tell you, I, you know, and we'll get to the actual game here in a second, but just a little bit of thought on the team. I mean, they, it feels like a team, you know, last year, it, what, you know, whatever was going on, you know, bad, good, indifferent, whatever drama, um, it just didn't feel cohesive, right? You always were wondering, were people not really wanting to be there? Um, were people going to show up? But this year, uh, you know, we might not, might not be the most talented team, but they want to be Red Raiders and they want to win. And it is a breath of fresh Even if we lost this game today, the way that we played and the way that we figured it out, it's just, it, it's, it is awesome to see the young men wanting to be Red Raiders. And I am like, it reminds me, I don't, and I don't know why this name keeps popping up, but it just reminds me of like Norris Odiase, right? Like just people who want to be here and it is awesome. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely a different feel from last year to your point. You really feel like there's a lot of people proud to be on the team that actually want to be here. And I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that we've already matched our total for uh, conference wins. That we yeah, did five. Year, five right there. So yeah. I mean, it's, it's good to be in this because what last year, I think we were started 0 and 8. So it's definitely good to uh, have this kind of start and really have this life put back into us. I feel like after last year, plus, I mean, this, we say we might not be the most talented. I, some of these guys are stepping up and I think I'm excited. Chance McMillan. Yeah. A lot of them definitely, they have the eligibility. So, I mean, I'm excited to see hey, what keeps happening with this team. Let me tell you, Dylan, I'll take a chance on chance. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, just, just, it was just great. Uh, you know, and, and, uh, I'm in Vegas right now and, uh, you know, I pr thank you, Texas tech, because I got a little more money in my pocket after, uh, the game today. I appreciate that. Um, but Dylan, why don't you dive us into the game and, and, uh, walk us through kind of what you thought throughout the game. So before I start, Nick, uh, I know you're in Vegas. We kind of talked about this before, so I wanted to wear my poker chip shirt, you know, for you. Just much love. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Much love. Um, but it was it was an interesting start because I'll take it kind of before the game, what I was thinking, and then going into it, right? Because you know, you just had Oklahoma coming off that loss at home to Texas, right? So I was I was stressed beforehand, thinking, oh, they're going to come out, fire it up, uh, ready to yeah that. Both. that Houston mentality, right? Where, you know, yeah. they need to, they need to get a game back. Yep. And plus their coach, um, Mosier was literally telling them all week that they were soft and they need to be more physical. So I was like, Oh, well, they're going to come out and, you know, prove a point. Right. So we came out the aggressive team. We came out hot, started off hot. We were, uh, were up 17, nine after an eight over run. Like it felt good. Yep. They woke yep. up after that <laughs> and we got a little taste of, um, a team that was fighting. Um, yep. So it, we, we got their best shots. And, you know, at the end of the day, I don't think we, I mean, we handled all of them enough to win, but there were a few moments, Nick, where it got a little hairy in there. And um, I'm just glad we ended up coming out with a win. I think this team gets a little excited, um, especially on the road, right? You know, you take a punch in the mouth. How do you react? You know, sometimes we rush a little bit. Sometimes we do this, that, and hopefully they kind of grow throughout the year. But uh, overall, man, we took the punches. We ended up on top. So it feels really good. But then I'll tell you, that's the thing about this team. You know, they they take the punches and then they don't they don't lay down. Exception of the Houston game. Right. But you know what? Houston, Houston is one of the best teams in, in the nation. And they were coming off two losses at home. Right. So. Yeah. I throw, I throw that out though. After seeing these last two wins, I throw that out the window. Um, it may be nervous at first, but uh, we're for real. I think we're for real uh, after this game. And I can tell you, this team's never going to quit. 
this team is West Texas and that's cheesy. And I know that people are like, Oh, okay. This team's West Texas. They don't quit. They don't give up. They're not soft. They're not going to say, Hey, cause I mean, there was a time with what seven minutes left. We were down eight, but you know what? We play the game, right? And we make free throws. Can you believe making free throws? I mean, it's crazy. Concept. It's a, it is, but you know, when you do the little things you win and I can't give enough credit to uh, coach McCaslin. And I'll tell you this, you know, I was one of those people at the beginning of the year. Let's let's rewind. Two years ago, I was very excited, right? We get all these kind of big name recruits, all these big name transfers. And I'm like, man, Texas Tech's on the map. Well, guess what? That's not really what Texas Tech was built on at the beginning, right? We're built on hard work and people kind of having a chip on their shoulder. Yeah. And and last year we saw kind of what happens when you come into Lubbock and you don't have a chip on your shoulder, right? But this year, this team they weren't highly thought of, right? Coach McCaslin's coming from North Texas, all this different stuff. And this team just says, no, you know what? We are the guys and we're going to show you every week. And so far, I mean, what a, I mean, it, it's just a, it is a pleasure to watch them fight every week and fight to be Red Raiders. And again, I can't say that enough. It makes me, you know, it truly, the only word, it makes me proud to be a Red Raider and watch these kids play. Yeah. I mean, overall they have to keep fight there's a lot of flaws they have to fight through right so to your point um they continue going through like the lack of size right i mean yeah. going into and we game, and we saw that and we saw that at the end of the game right we there were well, some some second chance some second chance things that we shouldn't have let happen but that's that's things we're gonna have to fight through right well and that's i mean that's what mccaslin's preaching all week is working on rebounding first half we we looked decent at rebounding i was i thought we had turned a corner right um and we ended up you know, going on a little run at the end of the half and it was almost a tie game. We were down one and a half. So we looked good in that standpoint, but then you could really see it start to rear its ugly head in that second half. And the rebounding disparity wasn't too big. I think I have it down here. Um, it was just a difference of what three total. So yeah, I mean, it, it's, at the end of the day, like it didn't look that bad, but watching the game, you saw they got every big rebound when it mattered, especially on the offensive yeah. board. And that's the stuff that kind of scares me. But hey, we ended up getting the job done that you know we needed to at the end. And that's what happened. And, and it it is right. So it's something that eventually it might rear its ugly head, right? And and we know that. And, and there are flaws with the team, but that's again, they are the, the toughness on this team, right? They just don't give up. Um, so, Dylan, who do you think – I mean, obviously, Chance McMillan, you know, I mean, just going off, right, um, having, you know, a career night. Um, but who – or a career day, I should say, right, middle of the day. But uh, mm -hmm. player-wise, who do you think really brought it home for us? Obviously, Chance, but who else? Yeah, so obviously, I mean, you can't say enough about what McMillan did. Um, he was He was the biggest thing for us, but other than him, Toussaint had an up and down game. Uh, Joe, he brought the energy early and him and Jennings actually was funny. We're just all over the place on defense at the beginning of the game. You could really see that they were energized, especially with the rest that happened earlier in the week, not playing a midweek game. They came out firing. Um, of course, Jennings is still developing, right? So he just goes out and plays defense. But uh, Joe, he... He was really good, and then he started having some turnovers kind of in the middle of the game. But then at the end there, yeah. he showed up again on the defensive end, and he made the shots he needed to, right? And not only that, he's he's a firecracker, man. <laughs> His hustle, it creates a lot of plays for us, uh, whether on the defensive end leading to those fast breaks, um, gets to the line at the end when he needs to. Um, Makes them, them, right? he'll also make that bad turnover because he's running down there too quick. So he was, he was great, but he had his moments in that game, which kind of hurt us too, but his play really stood out because it was just kind of really up and really down at sometimes. Yeah. I think with Joe and we've seen this a lot, we've seen this in the last couple of weeks, right? I think with Joe, we need him to be good, right? We need him to play well. We need him to be himself. And I think he'll figure it out. You know, he had a very hot stretch at the beginning of the year. He's in a little bit of a slump now, right? Um, yeah. Had a better game today. Uh, yeah. But I th I think we go we go as he goes, right? 
Pop's going to get his points. Um, you know, Chance, when Chance is scoring, we're going to be in good shape. But I think I think if Joe can just kind of fine tune and be a little more consistent, uh, we are going to be dangerous. You know, as long as he's playing defense, too. I mean, as long as he's doing his yeah. thing, I think he puts us in a good spot. Right. He's definitely yeah. someone who I love having him on the team. Right. And and another one of those guys who came from a different school and just, you know, he's been in a couple right a couple schools, um, but he's found his home. Right. And I feel the same way about uh, Warren Washington, you know, like, you know, you've been in a couple of schools, but it just for whatever reason, you look damn good in red and black, you know? Yeah, it's interesting. Um, yeah, like for Joe, again, I mean, it's, if he just didn't have those four turnovers, it, I would have said it was a really good game. Um, yeah. Washington also, you know, it's funny watching him play because he never seems to get a whole bunch of rebounds like at the end when you see his stats. But I mean, he's what we got down there. Um, and man, I love, is, I love him. I love him. I, he's, I, I remember that, watching him. I watched yeah. him a couple uh, last year at Arizona state. I'm just like, this guy could do some things and lo and behold, now he's here. And I just, I feel like, you know, when he's doing, when he's doing the, you know, scoring and rebounding, like, what are you going to do? And he can pass. That's the big thing. Yeah. He can definitely pass out of it. And then he's always open for lobs. They find him all the time. So that's yeah. definitely and then, I mean, the other thing that helped, too, is you had Williams rebounding. Um, I think he had 11 in the game, too, man. So, I mean, we try to find him where we can get him at this point, right, with the lack of size on the team. So, um, the team, overall, I think we had a lot of different people show up in the moments they needed to. Uh, Walton was in foul trouble, fouled out, unfortunately, right? But he ended up putting up yep. seven points. But, obviously, at the end of the day, Chance was the guy that stood out. The guy, what, 27 points on six of eight from three. He had oh, eight an animal. I yep. mean, animal. Dude, he, he was that's, the big... that's the thing. I just, with five minutes left, I don't, I, I feel like we can win, which mm -hmm. is a nice feeling. Even if we're down, right? Even if we're down seven points, I just, this team is just, we're going, we're going to hustle and we're not going to let you beat us and make it easy. And as long as you do that, you're going to win games in the Big 12. And what? So now that's two road wins in the Big 12? It's looking good. I mean, five and one. You know, I'll tell you this, and obviously this is um, – I'm making an assumption here. But I guarantee, you know, Kansas, Houston, uh, all those guys definitely had this chalked up as a tech loss going into the game today. So – now we're really putting pressure on people. Now, hey, five and one. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, we took the ability to, I mean, like I said, hang tough. There were a lot of times in there where we made some dumb mistakes when they were on runs, but we still pulled out the end. We held their star, yep. star player, McCollum, to what, seven points? I mean, he went two of 11 shooting. Like the team did what they needed to do. And yep. thank God we got out of there with a win. Yeah. I, I think if, if you're a Red Raider today, you're feeling strong and you're feeling good about your team. Um, and here's the best part. Cause I, you know, I was, I was uh, with some people who I had just met and, you know, the college basketball fans, right. Um, they still don't know about Texas tech. So, you know, keep, keep doubting us, please. We, I mean, we, we want it. Give us all I mean, the chips. Give us all I, the chips on our shoulders. I mean, think about it. At the beginning of the year, all of us, we were just like, hey, we make a tournament. That's awesome. That's a win. Now we're looking, hey, let's win the Big 12. Yeah, right? No kidding. Someone, you know, I read this. Uh, someone tweeted this but uh, or X'd it, whatever you call it now. Um, they said, uh, Texas Tech is the Oklahoma State of basketball for, like, football. We're just consistent. We're always there. And you know, obviously last year wasn't great, but like it's to hear that it's like, man, maybe, you know, like, yeah, we're going to rattle off wins. We're going to, we're, we're going to make sure we do what we need to do to be successful. And again, coach McCallum, I mean, what a hire so far. Right. I mean, obviously early, but you know, early indicators point to he's a yeah. winner, right? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of buzz around the country about how good he's doing. And then also you can tell the team just buys into him. I mean, they definitely have believed in the system. They're already – I mean, think about it. These are all guys that, for the most part, are all playing with each other for the first year. And you wouldn't think that by watching the way they communicate with each other, 
um, how their body language is with each other, man, they're, they're together. Like this is a together team that believes in each other. So, I mean, that's him. That's all the culture he's bringing and building. Like I said, man, it, it reminds, it reminds me of, you know, our national, and again, I, I know I'm not going to get crazy, but it reminds me of what 2019 national championship run just because everyone it's us against everybody. You know, it is, we play for Texas tech. We are proud to be at Texas tech and come see us, see what happens. And that's what happened in 2019, right? Come on, come see us, see what happens. So hey, you like, I'm here for it. Come see like us, see what happens. SEC teams to send off already. We're two and zero against them in basketball so far. Hey, SEC later. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love it. man. It's it's gonna be a fun year. You know, I this this team is just. And again, I, I yeah. At the beginning of the year, I was nervous, but I am. Um, I love this team. I just they just feel like Red Raiders, and it feels like like how we love Texas Tech and how you know. Everyone we we talk to on Twitter loves Texas Tech. It feels like they feel that way. And they're not just there just to be there, you know. So when you get that, it's a pretty powerful thing. And I guarantee it's going to show up at the stadium uh, at the USA when when we got our home games. Because I promise you the students and the fans feel that way. Not even just the home games, Nick. Uh, you could hear a lot. Yeah, of I know. You could hear a lot of it there, too, in Oklahoma. I, hey, we bear our banners far and wide. Oh, yeah. That's right. All right, Dylan, anything else for us before we get out of here? I mean, I would just say big thing going forward is, I mean, think about it. Big 12 is a hard conference to play. To make a tournament, you you need probably eight conference wins, and we're already at five. So, again, that speaks to how we're already way above whatever expectations we could have had. Think about the beginning of the year. We lost one of our best players in Cambridge, right? And we're still at – and we thought we had a thin roster, but we're still yep. at this place right now which says so much to, I mean, just everything about the team, the coaching, the players, and everything that they've been able to do. And it's crazy. I mean, Pop's had a few great games, but he still hasn't been, like, consistently amazing. So to do this without even hitting our best, I feel like, I mean, this team can just keep growing from here. Yeah, I I agree, man. I think uh, there's a lot of promise and a lot of excitement that uh, Red Raider Nation should be feeling right now. So uh, let's – Let's uh, jump on the train, get along for the ride, right? Um, right. Well, that's that's it for us, guys. Uh, we appreciate it. We hope you enjoyed uh, a little recap. Um, please like and subscribe. Follow us on X, Snapchat, Instagram, uh, YouTube uh, for more content. But again, guys, 85-84, Texas Tech beats the Sooners. Wreck them. <laughs>